Hi there, I'm Robin Marie Smith, and welcome to this video tutorial on altering the Cahiers Moleskine journals. I love these journals. Now, these journals, the ones that I like, have a craft cover, and here's an example. And they're really, really flexible. The cover is still a little bit stiff, so they're perfect for um, keeping notes. I use them mostly for that when I'm um, taking notes while I'm watching workshops or um, writing down my ideas. I don't necessarily use it for art journaling, but I do use it for note taking and list making and for um, just taking notes and putting ideas in it. We're gonna um, actually alter three different sizes in a two-part video series. So there's gonna be two videos, so depending on which one you're watching, um, you're either in one or two, so be sure to check both because I'm gonna be using a, um, a few different sizes and altering those. Uh, they make great gifts too, by the way, and they are easy to alter. You can paint on them, you can collage on them, and I'm gonna give you a few ideas on how I like to use them. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it, have fun, and I hope that you're inspired. And if you end up creating some, please share. I'd love to see what you create. Thanks a lot and have an awesome day. I especially like these little ones. Um, they fit great inside your purse or a backpack. I just think these are, I just really love the small ones. So for this one, I've, I've already cut out the little circles and I have one of the cards, I think this one, and I think, I think we're just, I think I'm just going to put this on the cover and I have this little label and I thought I could put this here and then just, uh, you know, write notes or something on there, but let's give it a whirl and see. And I have another idea for this one. So I'm just going to use a YooHoo glue stick to apply the glue. You can use any adhesive that you like. And then I'm going to put it a little high, not centered. because I'm gonna put that little sticker on there. All right, and then this one is just a little self-adhesive sticker. You can put any kind of little label on there. I think that would look good. And I'm gonna put it a little off the card so that it's not perfect on there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna take a pencil. This is my um, Faber-Castell Grip. And I'm going to scribble around the edge. And that looks, that looks okay, but I think I want to add in some, let's try, let's try a crayon. The, um, these are the Neo color. Yeah, let's see if we can, yeah, that looks good. Let's add in some white. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's go into the inside and on that little black, uh, the little back, there's a little flap here. And I thought I could add in maybe a few of the little round stickers, the little round ones, the little round ones might work. Let's see, maybe. Um, let's, okay, I have an idea. Let's do this. Let's take, uh, let's do the half sticker thing. Let's put, and that way it'll kind of be on the outside. So let's do that one. Now I printed mine on a sticker sheet, so that's why they're adhesive. But you can print them out and then just glue them on. And then for this one, let's, I want to try to make it about the same. Not sure I centered that, but it's okay. And then let's do this one. That looks about right. And then I'm going to fold those over. And same thing. Let's, let's just scribble around that. And maybe add in... And you can use um, a crayon, you can use a white pen. And on the inside, I like that. I think that looks good. So fast and so easy to embellish these little these little notebooks. Okay, and I have another idea. Let's try this. Um, I have a needle with some wax thread, and then I have a piece of black sari ribbon. My thought is is I might be able to pull a stitch 
through, I'm going to come down to maybe the third one because these little books are stitched. I'm just going to gently put that through. I'm going to do it really gently because I don't want to tear my stitching. All right. And so basically, I just want to have this thread sticking out like that. And then I thought I could tie the sari ribbon onto it. And I don't need a really big piece of it, just a small piece. So let's tie that. And then I'm going to just tie this, the sari ribbon, and you can use any kind of ribbon in around this, the, uh, the stitch, the thread. And let's trim off that thread. And then I'm going to trim off that. Okay. See, that did work. Yes, I like that. Now there's a way to put that ribbon right on there. Okay, and then I'm um, thinking I'm gonna put the word notes on here and let's just make it kind of fun and let's do it with a crayon. Hopefully, okay. And a tip, when you're writing, if you need to have it centered, you can always start with the middle letter. And our middle letter is T. So you just kind of start in the middle and then you can go back and work front to back. That's perfect. I love it. What a cute little book. This would make an awesome gift. And let's even take it a little further. And let's sign it. I'm just going to sign the back with my uh, Faber-Castell pit pen. This is a medium tip. And I'm just going to put my initials on there. Perfect. All right, so there's a little one of the little books using um, one of the art pop cards and some of the small circles. For this little book, I'm going to use some of the sticker strips. Uh, you can print these out on paper, cut them out, or print them onto a sticker, you know, a sticker page, and then you can just cut them out. And then I've got some sari ribbon, a small tag, one of the um, art pop cards, and our book. And then we're, I think I have an idea for how I'm going to work this out. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to cover the tag with one of the cards. And I've already cut a piece down that will fit. So I'm going to glue that on. So I'm going to use a glue stick to adhere the tag to the card. And I cut the card just a little bit larger than we needed so that I can trim it. And then with my scissors, I'll trim off the extra and the overlap. Next, I'm going to take my hole punch and punch through the tags hole so that I can make a hole there. And I've decided to use this colored sari ribbon, so I'm going to put this orange ribbon in it and just go ahead and get this part ready. And then I can just sit the tag aside. And let's trim a little bit of those off. All right, so we'll set this aside till we're ready. And then let's go ahead and go to the little journal. And I've decided, I think I'm gonna try 
um, putting the strips, the stickers, or the, you know, these little uh, strips here across the journal. And I, I like odd numbers, but I'm afraid that four, well, four actually looks better, but I think I can do it with three. And it looks like if I do this, I can get the stickers around the whole little book. So I think this will be perfect. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure at least one of them is in the center. And let's go, let's go with the orange one because it does kind of play off the one that we just, uh, the tag that we just made. And it's a little bit larger, but I don't really wanna go on the inside. So we're gonna stick with keeping it just on the outside. And you can use a ruler if you want to measure, but I'm just going to eyeball it. worked I love that and it's I did good it's definitely straight hmm. all right and I kind of brainstorming here okay so I'm gonna think about this I want to do something else on this cover my idea is to put this tag into the back so it will go right about here, just where the ribbon is, is sticking out, or the sorry ribbon is sticking out over the top of it. So it'll be like that. And that worked out good because we've got this nice pop of orange here to go with that. And I like that it's sticking out. And then it can be used later as a bookmark. You know, you could bookmark your pages and now it's a bookmark. So that was the idea. So you, you kind of, if you're going to give it as a gift, it can be stuck back here and then it, it would make a nice, uh, a nice gift. So let's look at the larger stickers. Let's look at the big round ones and see what options we might have with these. Maybe these are a little big, but I'm wondering. Sometimes I just lay these things down, place them on the page or the project. Okay, I have an idea. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to cut this in half. And I did print these also on sticker paper. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put the half of it right up to the top. And then the tag will still go in there, but it kind of matches it. I like that. We could even do another one down here. Yeah, why not? Let's just put that one in there too. Why not? Right up to the edge. And I'm just trying to center it as best I can. I think that looks good. We take the tag out and then let's take our pencil and kind of go around that. And I'm wondering if Maybe another label? I don't think so. I don't think so. White crayon. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the front. And this will be in here, so that will have that extra bit of color there which makes this stand out more. And maybe it's just, maybe we do the pencil lines, but I have this idea here. I really like this and I'm wondering if I might could freehand, let's use a pencil first, but I was thinking I could, I was thinking about drawing it and like sketching that part of it. But let me look at the stickers here, I have an idea. 
Let's see if anything kind of matches that. I thought I had something. No, I guess that would look kind of weird just sitting there. So let's not do that. Okay, so let's let's kind of. I'm just going to use a pencil here to sketch out what this might look like if we actually had the whole thing on here, right? Maybe, that could work, maybe. The first thing I'm gonna do is paint in the black and then I'll go in and I'll paint in the white. I'm just gonna use some fluid or some uh, tube paint, just some black acrylic and a small brush. This is my Simply Simon number one. It's kind of small, so it'll work well. And I'm gonna go in to where I sketched it and just add in where I think the, the black should go. And this is, not, this is not meant to be perfect. I don't really want that. But I like the idea of maybe pulling the this whole idea of the flower painted on the cover here. And so I'm just gonna fill this in and then I'll go back and add the white. Once it's dry, I'm gonna go in and add the white. And then the last thing I did was just, I went back in with a little bit of the black to accentuate that, um, the white a little bit more. It doesn't look exactly like the picture or from the sticker, but it's pretty close and I think it looks good. Okay. All right, so I like that idea. But I still think we're gonna go in with our pencil. Um, we've got a lot of, of, of scratchy marks here in the sticker. So I think what I'm gonna do is, let's use the Kimberly here. The, and let's kind of take the scratches and work them into the journal. So depending on where, where you are working from, depending on whether or not you've used the stickers or not, I think we should go ahead and kind of emulate that a little bit. And I'm gonna open this because it's still wet. And I'm gonna do the same thing back here. You can see this scratchiness here. And we don't have to do the whole thing. I think just enough that it's emphasizing it some is good. And I still think I wanna put a little pencil mark around the flower. Okay, I, I think this is good. I really like that. Cute little book and tags on, little bookmark tag on the inside. Yeah, and why don't we do a little more kind of like that. We'll just, there we go. Okay, there is another little book, another little small one. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks a lot. Thank you.